it's absolutely raining outside you guys but i wanted to create this quick video for you all to teach you how to get the best audio recording while you're filming outdoors if you're a subscriber to my channel already you may have noticed an increase in the audio quality and today i'm going to show you how i did it with the dd d3 microphone Ooh, it's cold so let's go inside so first we'll do a quick unboxing of the dd d3 microphone so you can see what comes inside of the package and after that we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of the iphone audio quality next to the iPhone attached with the DD D3 microphone audio quality. So I hope you find this video helpful and informative and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get to the unboxing. All right, so let's see what comes in the box of the DD D3 microphone. So first off, we have the USB-C cable. I love that it's USB-C because it can work with all of your other USB-C devices. It comes with one audio cable. And if you're connecting this to an iPhone, you will need an adapter. And then of course you have the microphone itself, which has a mount, which you can attach to the back of your camera or a tripod. The microphone cover comes off and you can add on additional microphone covers, such as something like a dead cat, which is very useful if you're filming outdoors. The dead cat acts as a wind filter, so you don't pick up as much wind noise as you would with the regular microphone cover. One of the features I really like about this microphone is that it has a stepless gain knob so you can adjust the input that the microphone is receiving to high or low on the fly uh, without doing it in post later. And at the top it has a high pass filter and a low pass filter built in. So if you're in an area that's experiencing a lot of high frequencies or low frequencies and you don't want those in the video, you can cut them out right through the microphone itself. The microphone has about 50 hours of battery life and it charges in about two hours. So now that we know a little bit about the microphone, let's see how it sounds. Alright everybody, well I hope you found today's video helpful and informative and now I hope you can make an informed decision on whether you should upgrade the audio from your iPhone or keep it the way it is. If you have any questions for me, please be sure to leave them down below in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. In the description box below, you'll see links to the microphone that I used today. So if you want to get one for yourself, you can use that link and this channel will get a small percentage of that sale, which will get reinvested to help support and grow this channel. And I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Do you think the iPhone sounds good as it is or does it benefit from having the new microphone? 
All right, thanks so much for watching today's video. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe. Until next time, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.